yeah, okay, but let's, let's, let's talk about it, right? Like, a lot of times parents talk about like what's appropriate for kids, but the kids like the grown-up music. Well then, let's just go back to the fact that I guess the older generation has always been inspiration for the youth. You know, if you look at, you know, Michael and then Smokey Robinson being an influence for him and then us being able to hear him cover, you know, Smokey Robinson, you know, written records mm -hmm. and you be able to hear like such incredible potential for a voice. Well, the same thing happens in this time. It's just, I think maybe the focus is no longer on vocal ability, artist development, it's on sensationalism. And I think that now kind of creating a movement, you know, a move, a dance, something that is like fearless and, you know, unapologetic. That is what people now flock towards. And unfortunately, it does trickle down to kids, but hey, they're gonna hear it one way or another. That's right. It's just, uh, I mean, you, you just, it, what it means is that we as parents just have to monitor what we allow our kids to be, you know, privy to. Well, you know, a great love song is a great love song. They ain't listening to love songs though, dog. No. They trying to see that shit drop, pop, drop and drop it. You know what I'm saying? They wanna, they wanna, they wanna be a part of the movement. You right. know what I'm saying? Like they yeah. look at TV and they look at their friends in school, you know? I mean, and that's why it's so important for us to continue to keep, you know, soulful music, R&B ballads alive. Yes. If it dies, R&B music really does die. So. It's a responsibility, man. It's a, it's one that I don't mind, you know, taking on my back. At some point, it's 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 my opinion that you're gonna do a book, right? And I feel like it's gonna be about love, okay? Because you have a lot of experience, yeah, with love. How do you define love? Love is sacrifice. Love is pain. Love is patience. Love is sharing. Love is honesty. Love is integral. Love is unwavering. It's all those things. So, I mean, when I come up with all those kind of mantras or words, at least, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm thinking about, you know, it could be philanthropic. It could be, you know, integrity of art. It could be music. It could be a child. It could be a loved one. It could be your family. It could be your significant other. Love can be all those things, man. But I think that more than anything, it is patience. Now, you've had like a lot of people, a lot of good people around you. What's the- Very what's, fortunate, yeah. what's, what's the best advice you feel like you've gotten? Man, let go, enjoy, have fun, man, you know? You know, what do you do after you've considerably you know, done enough, you know? Some people would say a Grammy is enough. Some people would say traveling around the world one time is enough. Some people that would say that a hit record on an album released would be enough. Some people would say one album would be enough. You know, I think at this point, having evolved the way that I have and been, you know, the places I've been and had the experiences that I've had, like, just enjoy it now and, and, and be free in it, you know, and, you know, be artistic, be creative, allow, you know, the world to benefit from, you know, some of the things that you've seen. Is there anything you did as an artist that you wish you didn't? Anything that I... And I mean, I can tell you, like, I got it like an encyclopedia, because I'm such a perfectionist, and you, you're very particular, and that's, that's work to your advantage. You know what, I really do feel like we all have um, our own crosses to bear. You know, how could I really learn a lesson if I, re if I regret it, anything? That means you probably gonna still go through the same shit over and over again until you get it. All the artists that are watching this right now totally appreciate what you're saying. It's the truth. Yeah, you know and I mean, I'm talking about in any, any platform. I mean, art is art is art is art. Yo, man. And we can all appreciate let that. Let me tell you something. You really understand it when you begin to study the life trending topic in music, rather it's social rights, rather it's love, rather it's pain, rather it's divorce, hear my dear. Albums like that really vulnerable. Albums like that for Marvin Gaye, if you don't know who I'm talking about. You know, they really give credence to the fact that you really just gotta live in the moment, let go and just let it, let it happen. 
You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you know what? You can only be where you are when you're there. And then when you move on, you're in another place. It's all about evolving. You know, I came up with this phrase, evolve or evaporate. It really does apply to life. I don't know if everybody can get it, because some people do live in a fearful place, mm -hmm. a fearful place of what people may think or what people will assume or what they will feel. Mm -hmm. You can't give a shit about none of that. You just got to be creative and, and live in it, because fear is not going to create anything new. <laughs> You let go, or it's okay to fall. Yeah, let go or let go. Okay. It may seem to everyone that's watching this right now that you've just answered my next question, but I know you very well, and you haven't answered this next question, which is, what's the secret to your success? Like, what, what are you doing that makes us care so much about you? What's the secret to Usher? It's that feeling, man. It's that irreplaceable feeling of real music and entertainment. I feel very fortunate because I've had a lot of people around to help build what it is. But to be able to perform a record, to be able to sell a record through performance, dance, vocally, and the passion of what it is, I think that that's what continues to keep people connected to who I am as an artist. And that R&B music allows you to feel or my music. I, I don't know if it's R&B or if it's just music, period. Mm -hmm. The music that I create and that I've lived through and the experiences that I've been able to, you know, borrow from mm -hmm. to create inspiration for our songs that we create together, mm -hmm. you know? They're real experiences that people can feel. That That's an irreplaceable feeling. And, and soulful music... Something you can feel. Yeah, something that you can feel. Mm -hmm. Would you say that as great of a singer as you are, great of a dancer as you are, you know, tap, everything. Is that your real talent? Like the magnetism that you have? It is a magnetic force that pulls people in. Okay, that that's comes what I from, want to hear. That comes from the pure source of love for music. So is that what we're showing up for? We keep showing up to, to watch. No, 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 no. It's, it, it's the voice. I really do think that it's my voice. My voice is what makes me unique and different from each and every person, you know? Uh, dancing is great, but eventually, the greatest dance move can be recreated or something else, but you can't recreate this voice. Okay. And the culture of it, you know, listening to and studying such incredible artists before me is really what created Which is who true. I am. And, and that's what I think I'll be remembered for. Having won seven Grammys, that pretty much says it. But I don't even know if people know that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, listen, I remember vividly. You had a white suit on. We were both doing a red carpet. You walked over before you even said, what's up? You said, yeah, we just won for you. You don't have to call. All right, what's up, man? It's cool. Speak to you later. <laughs> Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember. I got it on tape. I just watched it the other day. That's cr Really? Yeah. Wow. That's a... That's a it was crazy. crazy. He was like, wait a minute, we won already? I'm like, yeah, we won. There were many people who passed up on Justin, which I will call no names, because right. that's not why we're here. Right, right. How are you finding being an artist? You appreciate every moment, and I think this journey has been a journey. You work your hardest, you put your best foot forward, and uh, take small wins, mm -hmm. you know, because every little one means something greater for a bigger reward in the end. Mm -hmm. The intuition is something that we share in the studio and that's where we get our magic from. Success has a million fathers and failure is an orphan. <laughs>